card dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 62 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And it is retro time once again. So in the previous video, we released version 0 0.3, and it is time to do a retrospective, see what we can uh, continue to improve, what went well, what didn't go well, how we did on our action items from the last retro, and we'll get started. So I've got the, the previous retro board set up uh, so we'll, we'll go through the the items in this so create a video about why I do my videos in one take and leave the mistakes in so instead of doing one video I did seven videos on just kind of that whole start with why concept so I did a basic one why stateless code what am I doing what is my North Star and then continued on why I leave the mistakes in, why do I give the code away for free, why do I spend so much time and effort dealing with testing, those sorts of things. So I'm excited about how those could turn out, so we'll continue working on those. But uh, the, the action item here, I think, is good enough that we can call it done. And by the time this is published, a couple of those, I'm, I'm posting them on Saturdays, will have already been published. And you can take a look at them. I've got a playlist, Why Stateless Code, that I'm adding them to. Relu reduce, yeah, action item about being able to speak. Reduce needless mouse movement and ums and ahs. I think I'm making progress on this. I will continue to carry that over. Look for opportunities to split stories, which will res result in shorter videos, possibly break test and feature into separate videos. So this is one that I I need to keep in progress. I kind of dropped the ball on this a couple times where I could have split videos. And uh, one in particular, I kind of meshed two separate things into one video. And that video wound up being the longest video since the, the previous retrospective. So we'll keep that in our list of to-do actions and try out some videos of my Inkscape SVG work. So I did start work on a, did a couple of recordings for a enough Inkscape to be dangerous playlist where I'm muddling through doing some Inkscape work. So you can look for those uh, to come out soon. It's kind of one of those, I'm not an expert in it, but by developer, for a developer, kind of the things that you need to know and how to solve some basic problems and be able to at least get something that looks reasonable without having to hire a professional graphic designer. So I will move, actually I can move this to done since I, I have tried it out, so we'll move that one to done. So I'll carry over the two that need to be carried over and I'll pause and do that. So I've got those moved over. Let's take a look at Nerd Dice 0 0.3. In between the lines there's a lot of obscurity. I'm not inclined to resign to maturity if it's all right. Then you're all wrong. Why bounce around to the same damn song? Rather run when you can't crawl. All right. So I decided to add a theme to my retro. We've got some psych gifs over here at the top. I apologize for the rendition of the theme song, but sometimes when you do a video in one take, you got to just take it where it comes so we've got our we'll start with our what went well so obviously we, we released 0 0.3 that was the first release we had since since January so there's a lot of new stuff and features involved with that release and um, we've got them 
all published. It went to Ruby Gems in the last video. So I'm feeling good about that. Posting momentum is going really well. So I have over a week ahead as I record this in terms of my scheduled post versus the actual publication date. And it's good to have that, that backlog of prepared posts ready to go and stay ahead of the game rather than behind the game. So I want to continue with that momentum. And then I exceeded my expectations on action items from the previous video. So I didn't think I was going to even touch the Inkscape stuff. And then I had a goal of record one video on this why stateless code stuff. And I wound up doing seven. So that I think all went well. Now we can move on to our uh, what didn't go well. So I had some huge problems with pausing and resuming OBS as I was recording my videos. I had to completely rework 57. So the whole, um, once I started trying to include the duct type um, module from the spec helper into my specs, I thought I had the video unpaused and it was paused. And then I went to write my commit message and I thought the video was unpaused, uh, paused and it was unpaused and it was, it was just a mess. So, at, and this was after I had put the video drafted and uploaded to YouTube. So I had to go back after I had, I was doing the, the descriptions of the videos where I go in and put the timestamps of where the various parts of the um, topics of the video are. And I realized that I had done that. So I had to go back, re-record. So I had to check out the, uh, the commit that I did that work in, re-record and kind of redo that whole part of the video, which is kind of artificial and against the, the idea of try to do things in one take and keep the mistakes in. But if you don't keep anything in, it's not going to work. So the, I need to be extra, extra mindful of making sure that when I think the video is paused, it's paused. When I think the video is recording, it's recording. So, and video 53 had that to a lesser extent, but still I need to, to really stay on top of that because the last thing I want to do is spend all this time, write the code, commit the code, push the code, and then have to go back and kind of artificially redo what I did live because my video was paused. We've got a, if we go to our code here, refresh it looks like coveralls is currently down but in code climate you can see that there is one code smell so cognitive complexity is too high for harvest totals so we'll add that as a an action item I will pause, make sure that I'm paused and write my action item. I'll also do one about pausing. There we go. I'm unpaused. So I've got the, these two items now as action items. Uh, I've got a typo in my readme, which irks me seeing as how it made it into the release. So if we go into the readme here, iterating through dices in a dice set. So just happened to notice that when I was scrolling through the other day. So let's take care of that. So I've got a, an action item for that now. Continuing on, most of the videos ran a bit longer than I want. So I've already talked about this. I was in, in the 30 to 40 minute range for most of these rather than 20 to 30, which is where I want to be. The one I mentioned earlier, I think it was 55, where I fixed and refactored the uh, the role ability scores method and then broke up the 
Nerd Dice module, that definitely should have been two videos rather than one. So that's just a, a continued watch item for me that I need to, in the moment, realize how much time I'm having allowing to elapse as I'm recording these videos and determine whether to break them up or not. Uh, finally, the bench the benchmark scripts are causing headaches on the GitHub action, and the the question there is: is it worth it? So you've got something that is otherwise good, like the the release commit that we had that I was intending for 0 0.3. Everything was passing before I go in and push the commit to master that I intend to release and the build fails on it. And so I have to go in, amend the commit and push the uh, force push it. And in that case, I had already built the gem. So I had to unbuild the gem, rebuild the gem. And uh, it's causing a bit of a headache, but at least in terms of its instructional value. I think I'll continue to keep it in and the, the work that we have upcoming where we'll be doing some meta programming, it'll be really important to make sure that the, um, the magic methods that we add in there are not causing huge performance issues. So I'm just noting that it's causing headaches, but I don't think I'm going to take an action item on it other than to complain about it. Not very continuous improvement to you of me, but sometimes it happens. All right. Now let's take a look at our action items. So fix typos in README. That goes to me. Move it into in progress. Go to our nerd dice backlog. And we'll add an action item for that, and I'll, while I'm doing it, I'll also add one for the, the code smell. So I'll pause and do that. So I've got those two written in there. Go back. So that's in progress. This is in progress. Be extra certain of paused or unpaused status in OBS. This is a critical one. I'll move this into in progress so I am being extra careful as I'm recording this to make note of the status that I've got this in. We've already dealt with fixed COVID climate code smell. Now we've got, so this video hopefully will have been successfully recorded in 1080p instead of 720p so the at looking at the youtube and other versions of this video it's a bit grainier than i want it to be so the and both youtube and facebook are starting to call 720p uh, standard definition instead of high definition so and encouraging me to record in high definition so i'm giving this a shot uh, files will take up a little bit more space, but I think it's it's valuable and worth doing. So especially on the Inkscape videos I recorded, anything regarding graphics you want to have in higher definition than uh, than what we've been doing with our uh, Ruby coding. So reduce needless mouse movement and ums uhs. I'm making progress on this, still not perfect, but I think that that continues to be in progress. And then look for opportunities to split stories, which will result in shorter videos. And uh, that's something I need to keep in mind as we go on and do these things that just take care of how long the video, current video is running and make a decision either during production or post-production. Sometimes you just want to split those videos. I can re-record the intro where I say which number of episode it is. So I just need to be more cognizant of that. So 
we're through our retro slice open a pineapple take it with you on the road we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.